Hi everyone, welcome to another vlog here on the Red October Network. Thank you for watching. Anyways, um, I uh, promised I was going to talk about uh, the next great wave of offshoring, but anyways, we're going to do a little bit of a change of plan. Um, as everybody knows, everybody's probably heard of the TV show The Voice. And so, uh, if you haven't heard of it, it's on NBC Prime Time, where uh, they select how many 72 or 60, 64 rather singers and judge them on the quality of their singing capabilities, and only one gets to become the voice, and they get a contract, music contract with Universal which is NBC's parent company. Now, um, it's a great show. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you about it, but uh, one of the things that has popped up um, about Universal in particular, um, this was just in the news, um, Universal and British uh, recording company EMI are going to uh, merge which or basically Universal Music is going to buy EMI, EMI for $2 billion. And they would control 40% of all recorded music. And so this is significant. Um, a very notable thing with uh, the recording industry is that back in the 50s and 60s, we had a bevy of small record companies, local record companies, you had Motown, you had Sun Records, you had all the, you know, you had uh, Parlophone in Britain, you know, you had Apple with the Beatles, James Taylor, and there was Geffen Records and whatnot, and now it's going to be narrowed down to, I think it's Sony Universal, and pretty much, uh, I think, one other company, but the one thing that I wonder about, and everybody says, oh, well, it's good, you know. There's a lot of bad things that are with that. First of all, this merger would control almost half of all recorded music. You know, the, the common threads. This is the problem that people don't realize. If you're an independent record uh, or an independent musician nowadays, it is almost impossible to get noticed unless you have a really good skill or you get paid, or you do real good, or you get noticed and you get lucky. I think it is notable that there is, um, you know, everybody wants to become rich and famous, but the problem is with it is that these record companies very frequently uh, have this kind of policy that they should be able to set their own prices. I mean, dollar twenty nine for a song that costs two cents to distribute. Not relevant. Charging twenty dollars for an album. Look at the record stores. The record stores are not going out of business because of Napster. They're going out of business because I'm not going to go and I'm not going to pay twenty bucks to get two songs. And that's a problem. CDs nowadays don't exist anymore, but it's pr pretty much because of iTunes and, you know, uh, a la carte music. There's also the problem of the way rec the recording industry has treated uh, established artists. When you're first beginning out, you sign the contract and everything, and you think, you know, that you're going to end up on a show of Cribs, and it doesn't happen that way, you have to sell a mil million records just to break even. But the record company makes a lot of money off your talents. It's better if you go and you basically try to strike it out on your own. You know, work out of the trunk of your car, out of your Volkswagen. And in the truth, in truth, that's that's one of the things. And so, you know, I think a lot of people are kind of jealous of this universal contract. I know that Cassidy Pope and Jordan Pruitt and a lot of other talented individuals are on that show. But it really does bother me a little bit that um, that we're seeing um, we're seeing really 
some people who could probably have a recording contract and you know be like the Eagles or Paul McCartney and the Eagles forming their own record label and Paul McCartney going to Starbucks record label a lot of people are frankly disgusted with with um, the recording industry nowadays and the one bad thing is with it is yeah they'll have a contract and yeah they'll have the celebrity but you have to think about it you know if they release an album and it sucks what's going to happen to these people celebrity is not always chalked up to be it's a big responsibility and I know that you know I already I'm already disgusted that the whole concept of getting airtime uh, is pretty much non-existent. You are told by corporate. You look at Forever Broadcasting and Central PA. You look at Clear Channel. They all have syndicated lists. They all have requirements. You have to play this. You have to play that. I really like WDBE here in Pittsburgh because they do play some of the local music and they're a little bit more independent. And it's good because they are a very typical um, record label or uh, radio station here and so so this is a problem you know and I'm looking here Universal Sony Warner Music Group and EMI controlling 90 percent of the musical market if somebody doesn't see a problem with this it's basically you go with us or you don't listen to music and a lot of music today is crap it is go listen to uh, Nicki Minaj's new thing I mean she has thunder thighs she has, and it's just, it's, it's noise, is what it is. It's just random noises. It sounds like they were, tr you know, when back in the Napster days when they were putting the fake files up, but, but this is deliberate. I am proud of a lot of the people who are on The Voice. I mean, I've been watching the whole thing. I like the blind auditions. I do feel bad for some of the people, but unfortunately, you know, they're looking for certain people and you know I, I I often say that people capitalism is being jealous of other people's success and wanting to be like them not to get a political discussion but I'm really scared considering this article about the universal EMI merger I'm wondering what's going to happen because you already look at Jordan Pruitt who was on a Disney label she got let go she was ready to, to give up her give up her music career if she didn't get on The Voice. Cassidy Pope was on Hey Monday. They're both good singers and they both got let go. And I don't know how you can portray this to be like s sort of a resurrection of sorts. And there's a lot of good singers. I, I, I forget who did your song, but um, I thought that was, that was good. And I think this is good exposure even if they don't win. I do think though that we really need to focus more on creating music and not creating celebrities. Because that's what the music industry is nowadays. It's celebrity. And so I'm just going to end it there. So, without being too dramatic. So leave your comments and suggestions for the Red October Network. We'll, we're getting 600 videos and we're going to be getting a check for all the AdSense dollars that you're watching videos contributed. So thank you for that, and I'll leave your comments. Bye-bye.